Hello and welcome back to Level Up Rugby. Today we're going to be talking about kicking tees and more importantly selecting the best kicking tee for you. Now there are so many different styles of kicking tee out there available for you to purchase on the market today. They can vary from height to shape to size about as far as your mind can take you. However that being said they can be simplified down into two categories. You have your upright kicking tees uh, like these and you have your telescopic kicking tees now the positives and negatives are these two different styles of kicking tees I've broken down in another video so make sure you check that out once you finish here but the two key messages of today's video are of mastery and consistency contrary to probably what you want to hear from this video there is no magical mystic ancient kicking tee that's going to transform you into a 100% goal kicker Unfortunately, I wish there is no miracle kicking tee. Although for younger kickers, as you grow and develop longer levers, you may look to change kicking tee to match those now longer levers, as I'll cover in another video again on kicking tee height coming up next. Once you have reached full development, changing kicking tee just becomes an easy fix and shouldn't be the first and only thing you look to to solve all of your problems. If you're looking to become a more successful goal kicker, you must look to build, mould and master your process to being as close to repeatable and therefore consistent as possible. And the first and easiest step you can take on this road to consistency is with the piece of plastic that you put down on the floor before every kick. From kick to kick, all but one aspect of your process can vary. The length of each step in your approach, the width and depth of your plant foot, the point on the ball that you strike, the angle of your road you on, the height and the distance ratio of your follow through, all of these aspects can vary. The only non-variable aspect is your kicking tee. So don't disrespect it and blame your kicking tee for all the mistakes you're making and not getting the ball between the posts. Instead, use your kicking tee as the foundations to a successful and consistent process. Look to shape and mould your process. Look to master it. Master all of those variable aspects of your process. Because the reason why you go from one kicking session going well and one kicking session going poorly, or even one kick going well and one kick going poorly, isn't because of your kicking tee, because nothing about that has changed. So why would you look to change that? Why would that be the answer to why one week you had a good session and one week you had a bad session? Think about it, it's the only thing that remains the same. Why changing that would it mean that you have now become a successful goal kicker? Look to the aspects of your process that actually vary. The things that change from kick to kick. Don't be lazy, look to your process, look to build it. Look to first, just build that house upon the foundations of a consistent kicking tee. And I can guarantee you, as soon as you make your kicking tee consistent, your goal kicking results will become more and more consistent because it's one thing that will never ever change from kick to kick. I'll see you next time. So, my challenge to you, take away all outside influence, whether it be from the kickers you watch on telly, you see Owen Farrell kicking off that adjustable um, telescopic kicking tee, take it away. George Ford kicking off that flat low lying Gilbert kicking tee, take it away. Take away the influence of your peers who you kick with after training, when they tell you that, oh, if you kick off a higher kicking tee, then you'll get more distance. And if you use a, a lower kicking tee, that's better for accuracy. Maybe true to some extent, but ignore it. Ignore even your coach's opinions because everyone's got an opinion, but no one can tell you what is most comfortable for you. Only you can decide that. So experiment, try out a few different kicking tees, but once you find the kicking tee that is most comfortable for you, there may never be one that is completely comfortable but as soon as you find the one that is most throw away all other kicking tees i sold mine i gave mine to my mates i didn't want them i stuck with one and built my process around that consistent kicking tee if you lay a foundation of consistency through your kicking tee then you can build the house of your process which will remain consistent and strong and successful find one kicking tee that you're comfortable with and stick with it